Hello, my name is Veronica, aka Vespertilio. I am an Italian comic book author, talent oracle deck creator, and your spooky art teacher. It's me again, yours cruelly. Today is sketchbook tour day. <laughs> in the past few months, many of you have expressed their interest in diving into my current sketchbook. I've been putting away a sketchbook tour solely because I haven't finished it. <laughs> in the past months, I had to finish two short comics and now I'm currently working on an illustrated book. Thanks to you, this YouTube channel is growing a lot and I'm starting to work with sponsors. So all of this requires a certain commitment. I wasn't able to keep drawing every day in my sketchbook for obvious reasons. I also got into the habit of not rushing through the pages. Right now I'm really enjoying those moments where I'm able to draw on my sketchbook and if I don't finish the illustration, the sketch I'm working on, it's fine. Whenever I have time in the next days I can go back to that page until I'm content with it. And it's not really a matter of perfectionism we don't like perfectionism it is really only a matter of going like oh, okay it's finished now i have recently surpassed the first half of this sketchbook and since i've been really really busy with work both as a comic artist and illustrator and now as a youtuber i really had little to no time to do a more chill relaxed video so i want to take advantage of this week of transition to just have have some time with you and go through half of my sketchbook and tell you about everything that went on with it. <laughs> I think we can get to the video. Okay, so let's start with this sketchbook tour. First off, I want to quickly talk about our tools. You keep asking me about this sketchbook and the truth is that this is not a sketchbook. This is actually a notebook. It is a blank page notebook by Moleskine. The size is extra large. It doesn't have an art cover like most uh, Moleskine notebooks. This is actually one with a soft cover, which is something I really like because uh, with the hard cover, sometimes I have a hard time uh, taking this out with me while with a soft cover, um, even if it doesn't fit perfectly in a bag, I can bend it a little and that's fine. It doesn't have very thick pages and you're going to see it in a minute. It. This is a Moleskine art collection sketchbook, so it has thicker pages and it has an art cover, a really really good sketchbook, but as you can see it is almost half the size from this other one and I really wanted to try a larger size, I really want to dive in this other one while I have everything still fresh in my mind, but let me know in the comment section if you might want to see this other one. Let me quickly show you the art supplies I've been using in this sketchbook. First off, of course, there is the Preppy Platinum Fountain Pen EF02. I've also used the Pilogitech C4. Then, of course, I've been using my favorite fine liners, the Fine Line Drawing Pens by Ohu. They were kind enough to send me more sets of these pens. Thank you again, Ohu, for these gifts. At some point, I stop using those pens in my sketchbook because I love them so much that I wanted to save them only for my professional works so you've seen me using them in my comic pages for instance and I've been using them also for some traditional pieces I've made for the illustrated book. For the rare occasions where I used a pencil, we're going to talk about this in a minute, those are HP pencils from Flying Tiger Copenhagen. They are incredibly cheap, those are my favorite pencils. I'm really excited about this, I have to be honest. So let's start with this first spread. This is the first time I used this sketchbook. Those those are storyboards for my videos. This was the video on failure, if I'm not mistaken. That was one of my first experiments with a more cinematic approach to my YouTube videos and so I tried put down a storyboard to follow and this was very useful by the way. That died here. <laughs> so let's start explain what is going on here. One thing I really wanted to try with this sketchbook was drawing directly with a pen. At the start, like with all new things, we're really scared and so I would only do some things and then others I would 
draw them with my pencil and then ink them. In all the first pages of the sketchbook, those other elements of the page are all uh, made directly with the pen, while my character, which is basically always Vespertilio, <laughs> has been first drawn with the pencil and just later inked. Those first sketches are a little more soft and polished in contrast to the last ones you're going to see. Let's keep going. So same thing right here, we have more uh, ideas just written down like that. Every time I use this other half of the spread, I use the pencil so that it doesn't show too much between pages. This was a little snack I had in that particular afternoon. This is the vase that you see in basically in all of my videos. And those are some shells that I collected on the beach. All of these things were directly drawn with the Ohu fine liner pens, while again, Vespertilio, I first sketched her with my pencil and then I inked her because I wasn't so confident about it. This view of the sea was done directly with my pen. This is still one of my favorite pages from this sketchbook. I love this so much. Vespertilio was again first sketched with a pencil and then inked. This was just what I happened to have uh, on my desk that day. This was a day where I was preparing a lesson on hatching for my students in the art school. The exercise I was giving them was about apples and so while they were practicing on this exercise I just started sketching <laughs> apples too. All of those apples Apples have been made directly with a pen, while Vespertilio has been first sketched with a pencil. Once again, I had just bought my headphones. You've seen those in all of my Draw With Me videos. I'm very obsessed with strawberries. And again, here we have Vespertilio that has been uh, sketched with pencil first and all of the sketches have been made with those pens right here. This was a day at a comic convention. Those were the things in front of me. We had a little tip jar at the booth. Here I had drawn Vespertilio holding like a, a butt pig. <laughs> those were made directly with a pen and she was sketched first. Let's begin because this is the very first time I tried to draw everything, characters included, directly with the pen. Every time I show this page to a colleague of mine or a fellow artist, they always are very impressed by this page and I'm very glad about it because I'm actually so insecure about this page because I see a lot of mistakes in the perspective and there are some overlappings here, something is happening <laughs> and for instance here I have this other character, I have many other characters of mine here, there is Mietitorio which is uh, basically a Grim Reaper then there's Vespertilio and then there's Gorgo. Right here, for instance, all those snakes from her head that are crawling on her body are actually placed in those specific points to cover mistakes. This is the first time I started learning this lesson. Take advantage of mistakes to find new solutions. I really want to start sharing all those very important lessons with you today because I think this would be a wonderful chance. So this was the first time I tried this pen right here on the sketchbook. The way this happened is basically I went out of my house and literally forgot my fine liner pens and I only had this one because I used to use this for my notes. All those elements right here, the tree, the lamp lights, the bench, this little corner right here, everything was drawn directly with the pen. Many of those things are live drawing. Those were mainly sketched outside of my house. This one we saw here, this is a view from the beach I go to draw. So once I did this sketch, something within me told me that the reason this sketch didn't work was because the lines were too thick. So I kind of took this as an excuse to try these pens and save those for only professional work. This was a bad day. <laughs> um, I made this little view of the sea from my usual spot at the beach and then I had collected some little shells and I also sketched them here and then at home I remember I was on my couch and I had sketched Vespertilio with my pencil and then ink there with this. I'm so proud of this one because this was my second attempt at drawing a character directly with a pen. And this was the first time I really felt confident in drawing only with a pen. I'm still very, very proud of this piece. I had to 
work with the mistakes I was making. And this is another very important lesson. If you want to learn to draw directly with pen, you have to embrace the fact that there are going to be mistakes. It's going to be impossible to achieve perfection. There's no way you're not going to make any mistake. You also make mistakes with pencils. That's why most of them have an eraser. We make mistakes, it's natural. Thinking that when you draw with a pen, you are so skilled, so perfect, that you simply don't make mistakes is like the biggest misconception that blocked me from trying this practice for so many years. Here too, I still wasn't so confident. I, I've been scared to draw directly with the pen everything, for quite some time you're going to see it. I came back to sketching directly with pen all those waves right here. This was a very windy day at the beach. And then when I came back home, I sketched there with a pencil first and then I inked there. This was my first day at the World Fair that they do here. It is mostly focused on Asian cultures, but it also includes South America and other countries. I sketched all of this part of the page directly with the pen. This little part right here with Vespertilio, I sketched there first with a pencil and then I inked there. This time was actually the first time I tried my beloved Preppy Platinum. So the reason why I bought this pen is because this is not rechargeable and that is something that really bothered me. And so I wanted a rechargeable pen. Fan fact, while I was at the World Fair at the Chinese booth, basically I gave an offering for a mini scroll and in that scroll it was like a fortune tell basically. The craziest thing is that in my scroll, in like Lucky Charm, it said fountain pen. I'm not making this up. And so I thought, that's it, I'm going to buy a fountain pen. The craziest realization I had lately is that this fountain pen I bought helped me so much with my art, with my confidence. With this pen, I really, really started to draw only pen on paper that changed my perception of art making, that changed my sketching practice basically. I use this pen every single day and not only I use it in my sketchbook, I use it also in all of my journals. That was crazy, I read on this little scroll, your lucky charm is a fountain pen, I got this fountain pen and that has helped me develop my skills in a whole other way. So yeah, I don't know if you're into that stuff, I am personally. I had sketched this Vespertilio directly with pen. This was all made directly with a pen. I just sketched my little kitties and some shells and this little cool like Liberty cup and a little Vespertilio right here. And from this moment, I kept drawing directly with pen. This was my second time at the World Fair. Both times me and my sister went seeing their concert. They do folk music with percussions. They also played with another band that also had guitar and bagpipes. It was amazing. And this was a brilliant opera singer um, from Japan. Really, really brilliant. And this was a little idea I had. And of course I made a mistake and I just attached another piece of paper and redrew my cats. So there are going to be also a lot of patches from now on that you can't avoid making mistakes and that's the best part you have to embrace mistakes and if you have no way of correcting mistakes or incorporating mistakes just slap another piece of paper and keep going so this is a random piece of paper i had on my desk while i was working i don't even remember on what this was such a fun evening for this part right here i actually made an exception to the rule and used again my fine liners uh, from ohu no actually i made an even greater exception because this is the 0.8 from the calligraphy pen set which ohu also sent uh, to me again so thank you so much because i love those pens so much so yeah this part of the sky right here that has a really rich uh, black in the ink was made with one of the ohu pens while all of these other things were done with my preppy platinum here I had made this upper part of this tombstone a little too big, it looked like this. I was enjoying this piece so much that it just was like, yeah, who cares, let's just slap a piece of paper on top and draw on it. And this reminds me of that particular evening that was so fun because while I was drawing this piece, 
I was listening to a long documentary slash interview to Leonora Carrington. If you're a regular here, you know she's one of my favorite artists ever. And that was such a great evening to me. <laughs> this, those are my kind of evenings. <laughs> this is a page that I made when I received a PR package from an Italian publisher that also distributes Oracle decks and Tarot decks. I think I showed you this in a previous video, actually. And this was another one of my uh, random evenings. So I have a banjo lele in my home and that day I was just sketching what I had around me. So I sketched my banjo lele, a strawberry I found in my breakfast that morning and this was my wallet that was laying on this desk. And then I just added my Vespertilio as usual. This was a concept for a Sibyl card, basically. I actually created this character before Vespertilio. She's the ghost lady. She has this broken flower um, on her chest and on her her tombstone in a cemetery symbolism basically it means that a life was gone too soon and that inspired me to create this character right here I wanted to link this to the ace of flowers I think this is called ace of flowers in, uh, in English too this is a sketch I made for my tattoo tickets a colleague of mine actually suggested to create tattoo tickets so now if someone wants to tattoo an art piece of mine on their skin they can simply like leave a tip for me and they are free to do it you might remember this this is the first drawing from the first draw with me video if you want to see how I've done this page there's actually an hour long video uh, about it you see nice things for me this day was a very busy weird day my energies were low I had just bought new flowers this vase uh, with those flowers those are fake flowers by the way and those are in my kitchen right now you might have seen those in some of my vlogs so this is another day where my energies weren't at their best shape i just wanted to take my time and be by the beach this was my view from my spot and of course i decided to include vespertilio so i came back to the same spot and this time when i opened my sketchbook there was a little spider crawling on my page and i let the spider on the grass because why are you on my page where you can be in nature listen it wasn't a big spider here i made a black widow it was a, the tiniest little innocent spider so it was perfectly fine to put it down if it was a big spider i would have thrown the sketchbook respectfully i would like to be more connected with <laughs> nature but i i really have a problem with bugs and I'm, I'm trying to overcome my problem with bugs but as a general rule i never kill spiders also because here in italy every time we have a spider in the house it is ragno fortuna e guadagno and it literally translates with spider luck and wealth so i've been raised not killing spiders and so yeah that day i took that as my hint as my inspiration and i did this page as you can see there are those hair moving this way and I made this shadow on her leg that's because I had made a mistake and I was incorporating that mistake into the piece I don't know if you can see it but this is another leg of hair that I had drawn but that I wasn't satisfied with anymore and so I just incorporated the lines into this bigger web maybe I wouldn't even have drawn the web if it wasn't for this mistake I made right here the mistake actually brought me to a better solution for the old piece. This was the morning of my sister's birthday and the day we went to the movies there was the re-release of The Curb's Bride. <laughs> this is a little note she wrote to me. This is a little corner from my parents' house and so I like the idea of drawing Vespertilio in this setting. So this was the day I attended the webinar on tarot artists from Latin America by Amalgam Academy, which I am an ambassador of and you can find the links in the description. They also talked about Leonardo Carrington and Remedio Svaro, so I really wanted to attend this. So the next day I just sketched this other version of the Wheel of Fortune. This is not the one from my tarot deck, this is a whole new one. I love this piece. I call this the two columns. My idea was to have her feel the entire frame of the page like she was crushed from the page. I made a mistake and so I decided to draw her like she was standing. Some of you might not know but Vespertilio has two versions and they are both the same person. It's like two faces of the same metal, let's say. I felt like portraying the both of them 
holding something. I really connect with this piece, but if I had to explain to someone what they are holding, I have no idea. <laughs> this was another day where I wasn't like feeling myself a lot and I just sketched my cats that were moving around and then I just added Vespertilio because yeah. So I'm jumping this previous page. This page is actually the uncensored page from my latest video, which was the one on layouts. We prepared the layout for the first page of a new short comic I want to work on. This is also related to this project right here, but this has spoilers, so that's why I censored it in my video. This was from some days where I would like to listen to affirmation songs, and one of them is just like magic by Ariana Grande. I was, of course, by the beach and I was drawing and so I just felt like drawing Vespertilio embodying this song, let's say. This day, so it was May 24th and I had just eat 20K and I went out to celebrate. That day we went to the beach and Ilaria told me she wanted to draw by the beach with me and I was so happy about it. That very day, I had no idea how that is possible. I'd forgotten my sketchbook. And, but Ilaria was kind enough to rip a page uh, off of her sketchbook. I actually love this page because it reminds me of my friend sacrificing a page of her sketchbook just to let me make art with her, so it's a very sweet page. You've seen me complete this page on my hatching technique video tutorial, so if you want to see how I completed this page, there's a video about it. This is also from the hatching video tutorial, so if you want to see how I've drawn this entire page, you can see it there. Those little things in particular are for the illustrated book. I just decided to add some little sketches of Vespertilio here and there. I wasn't very satisfied with those sketches and that night in my bed I sketched this full figure of Vespertilio and I felt so much better. <laughs> this is from a comic convention I went to and also these and those were two pens that my friend and colleague Matilde made me try, basically. Those two sketches are from the same day. I wanted to fill this page, but I ended up not doing it. This is another sketch I did uh, in a Draw With Me video. And again, if you want to see the full process of this piece, there is the Draw With Me video. This piece is incredibly dear and special to me because I dreamed this goddess. At first, I didn't remember I dreamed of her. And while I was journaling, I remembered and I instantly felt the urge to draw her. This is a little sketch I made one time. I was out with Ilaria and we stopped at a cafe. This is the sketch I made for the Moft sponsorship. This was a very, very quick sketch because that day was so windy. I was so afraid the clips weren't like good enough, but in the end everything worked out fine. I love this piece. I ended up really loving this page. I think this was also for the Moft video. I was looking at, the, at my view and I noticed someone standing on the rocks like in this position it was very far away but I instantly had this view of Vespertilio like in the same position and then turning towards me so I drew both of them basically as you know I've been through a lot of hectic weeks at one point everything stopped for a moment and that actually made me scared but thankfully I quickly realized that this was my chance to turn the weight into a break. A sort of affirmation with Vespertilio. This is a little sketch I made prior to uh, my first try with the XP Pen uh, Magic Drawing Pad and this actually turned into a much bigger drawing. While this was very fun, I was laying in my bed and I was scrolling through Pinterest and I saw this shell that I ended up finding at my local summer fair. I saw this shell and I have no idea why, but my first thought was this would look absolutely amazing as an offering on a tombstone. That was my first thought. And so I was so sleepy, but I was like, I have to draw this. This was a concept I really wanted to get out of my head. The following pages ended up being part of a short comic I recently posted on my Instagram. I started drawing this by the beach. I had to complete it with some hatching on those rocks. While the next day I quickly sketched just the lines 
for this part right here. From my view, I could see how the waves behaved from this direction. And so when I went home, I decided to turn this into a comic page. The next day, I went back to the beach and I filled each panel. When I came back home, I decided to do a proper short comic and I also really wanted to pay homage to this beautiful shell I bought. I made this short comic. I started with laying down the panels for all three pages. Then I did this page at home. The next day I did also all this page and then the same day I started this one. Every time you see me drawing in Vespertilio, it is mostly from memory, so I don't have references for the poses. I saw one person standing like this for just a moment, then they stood up and went away. So I just went from memory. This time I tried going from like imagination. I don't know if you can see. Basically, I made a mistake and this time I thought I won't be able to fix this properly. I decided to add a little patch right here and this time I took a picture of myself as reference and I actually filled those panels at the beach. This is from my last video, the one on comic layouts and this is the little storyboard. I'm most definitely going to make a, a whole video on storyboard. This is a very recent one. I recently started studying chakras and the energy centers of the body. The one that I felt most inspired to pay homage to was the throat energy center so this is about that basically and this is the last page and it's not done as you can see i need to feel the sky right here and i actually am thinking of using the same pen from the calligraphy set that i used in this page right here that's basically it this is a little more than halfway through this sketchbook. I have to finish this page and keep going. And we're probably going to see each other again when the sketchbook is complete. And that brings us to the end of this sketchbook tour. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you had fun coming along with me. I'm always very happy and glad whenever you're able to take something educational, even from videos that are not art lessons. So let me know in the comments section below if you were able to take some valuable information from this sketchbook tour. Also, as usual, if you have any suggestions or requests for future videos, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. If you wish to support this channel, you can simply do it by clicking the subscribe button and liking this video. My very first tarot deck, Vespertaro, is now available for purchase and you can get it at the link in my description. Also, if you like my art and content and would like to dig a little deeper and see what pages I'm going to draw next, consider joining my newsletter where I share weekly updates on the digitalized version of this very sketchbook. Don't forget to check all of my partnerships in the links in my description to get exclusive discount codes for different websites. If you stay till this point, thank you very much. I will see you very soon with more art videos. In the meantime, let's make art. Bye.